Yo, what's up, you guys? You're both Flaggo Gaming, and welcome back to season two of Repair That Rush. <laughs> Alright, guys, it's been a while since we uploaded a video of Repair That Rush. We're, uh, we got done uploading everything. I, I think we upgraded uh, some heroes. I think it was an Archer Queen and a few defenses. But now we got a few uh, loot. So we gotta, we gotta spin all that loot. We got four builders available as well. Something we don't commonly have in this account because most of the things take few days maybe a few weeks for it to up upgrade but now we're in a good situation so we can upgrade four things today if possible as long as we get uh, as long as we get most of the loot so, right we're back to uh let me request some troops real quick before we go and do an attack i uh, mix it up a little bit i'm using the dragon with balloons army slash uh, next army we're gonna use is a barge army that way we're gonna get more loot we are repairing this town hall so the cheaper the better the more loot we get the much more better it is all right so let's go to the laboratory we got a few uh elixir so we can probably start upgrading uh i think about upgrading the miners i want to use the miners soon for my army i think it's the uh, hog rider army and it's a mixture of miners and a few spells i'm not sure exactly what spell maybe the heal spell and the rage spell but i think that's what i'm gonna use it so uh let's go here just begin upgrading the miners so right, we're gonna upgrade this miner to level two and three two one bam we got that so now we got that out of the way now we gotta go get some elixir too well i think i don't maybe not maybe it's not an issue we might need more gold we do gotta upgrade a lot of defenses but we we also gotta upgrade the barracks i don't think we got barracks too high level yeah let me see uh we could probably still go one more level yeah we gotta unlock more barracks to well upgrade more barracks to so unlock electric dragons faster and maybe a little bit cheaper but anyway, guys, here we go. All right, guys, we found this decent Tahoe 11. Almost maxed. I could say the walls need to be upgraded, but I think that's the only thing that has to be upgraded. Everything else looks pretty maxed to me, and they have a lot of loot. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're using the Dragon slash Balloon Army. We're going to go ahead and drop this uh, landing spell here, two right here, two down there, two over here. All right, so it takes up about three landing spells to take out one air defense. So we're gonna drop two there and from here we're gonna go ahead and attack with the barbarian king drop the archer queen in the bottom corner then i'm gonna drop the grand warden right here now we're gonna begin dropping all the dragons where our heroes were placed i think i'm gonna drop these balloons hopefully they can take out that air defense since the air defense is focused on the dragons i don't think they're gonna see it coming maybe i hope yeah so we are gonna manage to take out that air defense which helps out a lot so we should have a maybe a two star almost a three star maybe like 80 percent i think where we at 36 well you know what i don't want to jinx it so we might even just get a one star i'm not sure if i'm not mistaken all right but the thing is we do gotta get most of the loot which i'm gonna mistake i didn't look at the elixir much i mean it doesn't matter we should be good with just getting the dark elixir and the gold because elixir i don't think we're gonna use that much maybe just the barracks but i don't think of anything else that doesn't necessarily have to be upgraded today I was just hoping if I had enough elixir, we probably would have upgraded it. But if not, it's okay. We got two attacks anyways. We got the barge on me ready for the next round too. So let's go ahead and let's see how effective these dragons are being. So yeah, the Inferno Tower is going to be an issue. A little bit of an issue. So we're not going to get that two-star. I'm pretty sure we ain't. Damn, it really sucks. I should have gotten two-star. Oh, because I didn't get my uh, CC troops. I would have gotten the battle blimp and a few troops. I probably would have gotten that two-star. At least that two-star. As you can see, that's a bad thing about having not even max out heroes it, it really sucks look at that archer queen not even taking much of a hit that, that's pretty sad <laughs> the archer queen just pretty much got destroyed by that expo expo doesn't do much damage though but yet again it's level 22. i feel bad but we still got the star bonus too so 380,000 elixir and gold 900 dark elixir so we did good on this one we're probably gonna have to go in with that uh heroes this time i'm gonna have to put the bar charm again let me check yeah keep training the barge army we're gonna use that we're gonna stick to that for a bit until we manage to upgrade our miners and stuff because we do want to i do want to switch to a hog rider attack pretty soon because i just like using hogs i think i use it from my other accounts what was it a town hall was it town seven yeah i use a hog it's a really good army it does do a lot of damage and we do manage to get three stars but anyway guys uh let me check so the army's ready go ahead and let's look for another base to smash with the barge army so we gotta look with something more loot but have it more towards the outside 
that would be pretty effective in a way, I guess. Be more effective because if we have most of the loot inside, we're not going to get pretty far. So let me just look for a decent base. Uh, I think this base is pretty good. Yeah, most of the stuff are outside. The golds, the gold, uh, gold mines are full. The elixir collectors are not, but the storages are. Which this, this person has them near the outside of the wall. All right. Bar me right here. So there you go, guys. You got to do this. You got to drop the barbarians first. Oh, I zoomed in. Barbarians get dropped down first. And then from there, oh, we got to drop some on the top of the town hall as well. So let me drop some all around right here. And then we're going to go ahead and go with the archers. We do got five rage spells. We might be able to use those too. Let me just see where we're at. Okay, let me finish dropping all these archers. Drop a race spell here. Drop another race spell in the other corner where the archers are at. So we did get decent loot, but we're not going to get a lot of loot. See, that's what I mean. To get a lot of loot with the barge army is pretty hard. Yeah, they're pretty maxed out. Okay, we did get a decent amount. We got about 300,000 worth of loot all together. So it was kind of like an epic fail. Alright guys, since the first attack using the bar charm was not a success, I think I found this decent base. Well, not decent, just a pretty much rush Town Hall 11. I think this is a good example of how to use the bar charm. We gotta look for a base that is not high level. Well, not high level as in high level defense. That's what I'm trying to say. Because the bar charm can really get destroyed pretty easy when they're almost maxed out Town Hall 11. So here is another good demonstration. So we're going to go ahead and drop all the barbarians around the town hall. Ooh, a few bombs down there. Okay, we didn't see that, but we're going to drop all the barbarians here. Drop all the archers right behind the barbarians because the barbarians are the ones that take most of the hit. So that way it gives them a little chance for the archers to get in range and take out whatever they can before they get, before they get taken out by the defense. So right here we're going to drop the lightning spells for the mortar. Hopefully we get this uh, gold over here. But the gold is not really an issue. Because we have a lot. We have plenty of gold to spend. We do need some of the elixir. So we got most of the elixir. Let me see over here. Ooh. Let me just drop this ray spell out of nowhere. What? Drop it right here. No, I wasn't able to drop it. Oh my god. Okay. We lost, but we got 207,000 gold. Wait, we only got 76,000 elixir. I guess it wasn't much elixir. We messed up by attacking the top part. We didn't even attack the top part pretty good. We should have spread out more archers there. That we could have gotten the two gold storages over there. So guys, this is something I shouldn't be doing. Alright, we turn back to base. We did get a decent amount of gold. The elixir, like I said, is not really the issue. So let's go ahead over here and let's check on the treasure. We might be a little... We might be pretty full on this. So let's check it out. Alright. Not really. We only have 380,000 gold, 380,000 elixir. So we're going to collect that. And we're going to switch to our... Anything else to collect? I wish there was. Alright, let me check over here. Ooh, the clan World League medals. We might use some of that today. Oh, no, we should. Guys, we should use a hammer ability. Well, no, maybe. Hammer of Heroes. Hammer of Bidding. What has to be upgraded, though? Yeah, we can use a hammer of Bidding. That way we can upgrade something instantly. So let's collect... No, these, let's do the hammer of heroes. Yeah, that's way better. Collect this, one of these. Purchase it. There you go. So we got one hammer of heroes. So we probably might just use three builders today. Maybe four if we can. We have enough loot. So let's switch over to our progress base. As you can see, I finally... Well, in the last episode I did this, I separated. So pretty much whatever is up here, it's maxed out. Except for the... Yeah, except for the bombs. Anything above the bombs is maxed out. Everything below the bombs... Well, one, yeah, be below the bombs is not maxed out. No. Okay, sorry. Above the bombs is not maxed out. Below the bombs it is. So you can see we gotta we'll get a few things. The walls are gonna be the last thing to upgrade. We don't gotta worry about that. There's a clan castle. Yeah, we just gotta upgrade it. No, it's maxed out. But it doesn't matter. We should leave it there. All right. Right here, we're gonna do is uh, for sure we're gonna start getting some heroes. I think we should go with the archer queen. She she's just a beast. We gotta upgrade the archer queen. So we're gonna go with the archer queen right here. Use the hammer of heroes and three. I think it's the first time we use it for this uh video. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So hammer of hero on the archer queen to level 23 in three two one bam we got that but then that gives us enough dark elixir to start organizing something else 
So let's go ahead and let's begin upgrading the Barbarian King. We do gotta upgrade that. Maybe the Grand Warden. No, it's 3 million. Never mind. Barbarian King, we're gonna upgrade it to level 20. And it's a 35,000 Dark Elixir usage. And it's 3 day upgrade and 3, 2, 1. Bam. So we got that. It's not even max. I think for the time high level to uh, max out 50. I think that that's the max level. Yeah, I think it's the highest level. I think. That's what I've seen. Alright, we got 6.3 million gold to use. Uh, what should we use it on? I think we gotta use it on. Uh, let me check. Not the hidden Tesla. We gotta make this more interesting. We gotta use multi loot to upgrade at least three to four things. The cannons are three million. We could probably upgrade two cannons. That's not enough. Uh, the mortars are two millions. They go to the mortars. So we're gonna upgrade this mortar to level seven. It's a two million gold usage. Three day upgrade and three, two, one, bam. That's pretty cool. Most of the things we're upgrading. It's about a three day upgrade. Okay? So within the next three days, we should be good, ready to go. All right, what's other mortar? Uh, we're gonna upgrade level six. Okay, we're gonna upgrade another mortar to level seven. Okay, we're gonna upgrade another mortar to level seven and three, two, one. Bam, we got that. Wow, it's pretty crazy. All right, one more thing to upgrade. What can we upgrade? The wizard tower. Yes, that's something we really gotta upgrade. So we're gonna go to a wizard tower. It's a, it uses up about 2.2 .2 million gold. It's a two-day upgrade, so it's gonna be done earlier before anything else. To level seven, we do gotta upgrade a wizard towers because they're pretty low on level, especially the design. It's a lot better when they get higher level. Well, I like this design. I don't know about you guys. Leave a comment below if you do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. All right, two point two million gold, two-day upgrade, and three, two, one, bam. Nice, nice. Okay, there you have it, guys. Now let's switch back to our base. Wait, right here. Switch back to our base. We managed to use awful builders. Used it to upgrade something that's really needed to be upgraded. The defense. That's something we really had to use uh, some gold to upgrade. We really are low on defense. We're repairing this Town Hall 11. If y'all guys are new to the channel, we're pretty much repairing this Town Hall 11. It has to be repaired. We already did a repair Town Hall 8. We already did a repair Town Hall 8. I don't know what else we got in mind. But check out my, my other uh, content. Another playlist of Town Hall 7. Let's no, let's play Town Hall 7. We're almost done with that. Once we're done with that, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do next. Kind of have an idea, but I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Yeah, don't forget to leave a like or comment. Maybe subscribe to my channel. That will really help this channel out a lot. I've so far got three subscribers in the last two days. I'm hoping to get more. It did kind of slow down for a bit. I didn't get any subscribers. But if you guys enjoyed my video, please don't forget to give it a, a like and subscribe to my channel. Because I would really appreciate it. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for today. And I will see you guys next time.